Why do I paint? Well, that's a, that's a very big question with a very long explanation. And I guess the simplest version of that answer is it's because I find that it's the best way for me to be in the world, to be of service to myself and others. Now, I was born in Dublin, Ireland, and my family came to North America when I was very young, about two and a half. Originally, we went to Toronto, Canada, and lived there for a number of years before we migrated to New England. I've lived in a number of places, not only Ireland and Canada and New England, but I've lived in the Midwest of the United States, in the Rocky Mountains, and I've lived in uh, the high desert of New Mexico, and now in Berkeley, California. I've been painting most of my life in, in various forms. You know, right now my main media is oil. Sometimes I do a little charcoal work. But I'm painting in oil now for 20 some odd years. What I like to share with other people, both in terms of the painting and the knowledge that I've uh, gathered over the years from a number of different sources, including a number of great teachers, as well as uh, uh, other people's artwork and museums literally all around the world. What I bring to it now is um, more than just the European tradition. There's other aspects from uh, an Eastern, a more Eastern viewpoint that I bring into my work. Every place has a different influence, has a different uh, effect on my work. Um, it's why I do like to move around a little bit and, and go from place to place. It's why I like to travel a lot, to get new ideas, new impressions, meet new people, see other people's artwork, all those kind of things, see the world from a new perspective, because you know that's what the painting is all about, is see the world differently. Probably the, the, the strongest part or the most significant part of the work that I've done has actually been portrait work. There are many reasons why I enjoy doing that. One, one of them, very simply, is the people that I meet. I've had the pleasure of meeting some people that are very, very well known. I met Ia when I first moved to Taos, and Ia is actually the daughter of Nikolai Fishin. Nikolai was, uh, is a very famous, renowned artist, portrait artist, who did live in Taos for, I think, about a period of eight years. He painted the uh, numerous times in his lifetime, and of course he's no longer living, but he was at the time. And I was asked, actually, to come to a residence. She was still living in, in her uh, family home in Taos, the Fetchin. And she actually sat for me in Nikolai Fashion's studio, and that's where I painted her. So that was really a very special, special and memorable event for me to sit in this little studio, and quite likely this is where Nikolai painted Ia probably numerous times in his lifetime, and for her also a very memorable experience. That's what I find most wonderful about doing the portrait work. You get to meet another human being, find out about their lives, they get to share, and oftentimes open up about what their life's about. And then, if the painting works well, which it often does, it speaks of that. There's a very deep historical connection in artwork from other people that have told us that we were here too, and this is something of our experience. So I've spent a lot of my life, a lot of my time in my life, going around and seeing other people's artwork and being inspired. It's like, wow, someone else did this. They took the time to do this. They put this down on record. It's a visual expression. It's got 
something going on that speaks to me without words. It speaks to me visually. And I enjoy doing that myself of like say creating an image and it's not so much about the subject because I'll paint, I'll paint, uh, it could be a portrait or it could be a landscape, still like whatever it is. It's not so much the subject, it's just the activity of doing that and having something come onto that canvas that talks about the world and yet it's come through a human, another human being because then it's like it's unique to us as human beings to do this. And so that other people have been inspiration to me in their efforts and then I can find inspiration that and then do the same thing here that hopefully that someone, a few other people, could find that same inspiration. It's like carrying it on. It's like, wow, we actually do live in this awesome world like of beauty. It just takes a long enough pause and quiet without the words to be able to see and appreciate it. So that's some, a relatively simple answer of what painting is all about for me.